the vacuum cleaner. It removes dust and dirt with every sweep. How does this machine generate storm force suction in a pod that's light enough to haul around the house? 85 parts work in unison to generate maximum suction. A bag that lets in the air, but locks away the dust. A steel propeller that spins faster than a power drill to suck in 500 gallons of air a minute. A super efficient motor that uses less than half the power of a hairdryer. It's a dust-hungry beast that's designed to last. Together, these components create the vacuum's ferocious appetite. The body must be airtight for good suction, but also accessible to throw sucked up dust away. But what stops the motor from overheating inside it? This machine has a clever design to keep cool. The 620 watt electric motor sits on top of the suction fan. As the fan blades spin, they push air up towards the motor, keeping it cool even on full blast. At the other end, the airflow pulls in the dust and a bag with tiny pores traps it safely inside. That's how this machine can clean your house without ever getting hot under the hood. The motor generates a constant 100 mile an hour stream of air that sucks dust up from hard floors. But on a thick pile carpet, even these hurricane force winds won't do the job. So how does the cleaner suck up dust that's ground deep into a woolen pile? Hidden inside the brush head, this machine has a secret weapon. A small turbine whirling in the airflow. A rubber drive belt connects it to a spiral brush, whose bristles kick up even stubborn dust. This turbo brush head spins 5,000 times a minute to give maximum cleaning power.